again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com and we're looking at the Optima ML300 again and we're in a uh, fairly well lit room and we're producing roughly a 67 inch image from about 85 inches away. So uh, again, in a fairly well lit room at 300 lumens, the ML300 definitely looks really good and uh, it's pretty impressive in person. Hopefully it comes across in the video. So this is the menu you get when you fire up the Optima ML300. And uh, it's a fairly simple menu. You can see on the top left you have a button to access videos, and then music, photos, uh, different video input sources, office viewer, and setup. So setup would be things like uh, changing the image quality or the image settings, brightness, that kind of thing. We are looking at factory default settings, which is what we typically do for projector reviews. And uh, for default settings, the ML300 looks fantastic, especially considering we have, um, you know, fairly well lit room. And uh, maybe I'll just shut the lights off to give it, you know, look at it in its best, in the best light, forgive the expression. Uh, so here it is, uh, looks really nice, bright deep blues with the dark grays and blacks. Uh, and the bright whites, uh, really saturated colors. So that would be good for presentations and the like in gaming and that kind of thing especially. So you have a menu and again you can navigate using the touch buttons on the top of the device. Let me see if I can scroll down here to show you. So here's the, um, you can see them illuminate when I hit it and then you're able to see it. I'm just going to go back to the home screen. So, gives you an idea there. That's easy navigation, very simple. It's just a handful of buttons and you access anything you want. I happen to have it hooked up to my laptop via the mini HDMI connection. You could just as easily use the USB port for a thumb drive to access all your files from there. Composite video, VGA to a laptop, that kind of thing. Um, or the SD memory card or the uh, internal memory that actually comes on the device. You can actually use a micro SD uh, cable they provide to transfer files to the internal memory. So you wouldn't even need to carry around a host device. You could literally take this projector and the power cable and give a presentation anywhere. You don't need a phone, you don't need anything. Just the projector and the power cable. So that's really uh, where the ML300 shines is the, the ultra portability of it and they really uh, great performance uh, image wise. It looks fantastic. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the input menu and I'm going to select HDMI. So it's going to access my <clears throat> my computer, my laptop. So here we go. So again we're producing a 67 inch image from about 85 inches away and I just happen to have it on PicoPros.com and you can see the greens are bright and vibrant, the whites look great, uh, the fonts look really good. Let me try to zoom in here and show you some of the font detail. Let's see if we can So you can see, I, I mean, really good quality. Really good quality. Sharpness is good. The one thing I'll say is the fan noise is a little, little on the loud side. That's to be expected with uh, something cranking out 300 lumens. So there we go. Uh, you get an idea that text readability is good. The colors are nice and saturated. Uh, you know, I can navigate the website. Again, you can see on the right, this pole on the right, right there. Nice, deep, vibrant greens. The blacks on the Kenwood logo, really deep, dark. And the whites are just very crisp and bright. So we'll leave it there for that. Quickly, I'm going to go show you some video.
Alright, so this is a copyright free video. This is about rooftop greeneries. Nice deep reds. You can hear the speaker, it's pretty nicely sized. It's a two watt speaker, I believe. <clears throat> nice contrast there, dark shadows. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit if I can. So there you go, I turned down the volume. Uh, the speaker sounds nice. Uh, it's a bit flat, uh, if I'm being honest, but it, again, in something this small, you can't, you know, <clears throat> most small projectors have average, at best, speaker performance. So this definitely is uh, on the better side as far as uh, small projectors go. So you can see the video is not choppy, uh, it's good quality. This is streaming from the internet. So you can see nice reds there, and greens, and the water, the shimmer of the water. Looks really good, and I'm pretty impressed with the performance of the ML300. So again, if you're a business person doing presentations on the go, or you want a small projector for your bedroom or a den, uh, you know, this more than overcomes the ambient light. I just turned the light on again. And uh, <clears throat> you can see the quality is still really good. And again, we're producing a 67-inch image, and it's not, not overly washed out. It's definitely viewable. Uh, it looks great. So I think a lot of people are going to find interest in the ML300 from Optima. Again, it retails for under $500. I saw about 400, some, $470 some odd dollars. And so this makes a great companion to uh, a laptop or just a device you'd carry you know, on the go without even having a host device based on you know, the SD memory card slot and the internal memory. I mean, it really looks great. And so you can see there, the, the, again, the blues on the sides of the page here look really nice. Uh, I, I really can't complain, uh, especially for this price point and uh, the performance is definitely something I think a lot of people are going to uh, be interested in. So I'm going to leave it here for now, and uh, if you have any questions, please email us using the suggestion box on the site on picopros.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, there are many ways to get in touch with us. So if you have questions on the ML300 or any other projector that we've reviewed, please don't hesitate to ask. We get lots of questions about uh, different types of projectors, people want to buy and that kind of thing. So uh, we'd be happy to help. Uh, so I'll sign off here. Again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com for the ML300 from Optima.